Welcome back to the Arctic Den. Today we are playing an RPG Maker game called Whispering Dream. I really hope I don't get a bad ending first try. It only, it only happens when I purposely play games with bad endings. Dot dot dot. Huh? When you open your eyes, you cannot see a single thing. Not even as your eyes blink, trying to adjust to the complete darkness. Where? Where am I? It's so dark in here I can't see anything. Hello? Anyone home? Demons? It's me. Your boy. Hello? Anyone? Is someone there? Ah, the monster under your bed. You hear faint footsteps coming your way. Slowly it becomes louder. Clearer as you draw closer, then it stops. You can feel someone near you. Can't see a thing. You. The voice seems familiar. So familiar. And yet, in your hazy memories, your mind cannot place where you've heard this voice before. It's you. Stronger than you. Why are you here? What? You're not supposed to be here. What do you mean? Where am I? I don't think I can tell you that, at least for now. Then who are you? Do I know you? Never mind that, I'll take you back. Take me back where? Calm down, wake up now. Wake up. Wake up now? It's okay to wake up now. Wait. Huh? My head hurts. My bedroom? Alright, what's this? Sturdy and comfy. That oh, looks like a chair. It's so fluffy. It sure is. He looks friendly. Huh. My eyes look puffy. I... Maybe you were crying? A picture of my sister. She looks happy. There's a note behind it. Don't be late. I need to find her. Were they always here? Could just be my imagination. I think you were miss. I think you saw your sister in Dreamland or something. A verdant forest. Looks familiar. Somehow. Were there always bunnies walking around? I should keep going. Hey, bunny. Hey, bunnies. They're not save time bunnies, though. This bunny looks sick. Yeah, it has a heart on it. Huh, maybe there's a way to heal it. Oh, well. Another room? Smells sweet. Is that honey? Oh, a visitor. Come here. Uh. Let me read your bookshelf. Smells nice. Must be your favorite bunny. How oh, cute. Okay, this person definitely likes bunnies. I'm happy. Bunnies are pretty sweet. Hello, I'm Lavender. You came at the right time, I just started heating up some honey milk. Do you want some? Sure. Great. Seems like it's good for a cough. While you wait, could you help me feed the rabbits in the forest you came from? I need to make sure the milk doesn't burn. Okay. I'll be waiting. Aw, oh, doesn't want to eat the carrot. Aw, oh, man. Oh well. At least they're all gonna be happy. I sure hope that other bunny doesn't, like, get mad and try to kill me. That'd be pretty bad. You fed all the bunny. I sure did. You're back. Thank you for feeding the bunnies. No problem. Coincidentally, the milk is done now. Let's have some while we chat. This is nice. Right. Honey milk is the best drink for snack time. May I ask you something, Lavender? Did you happen to meet a girl with pink hair passing by? Ah. A girl with pink hair. I might have seen her. I think she went ahead that direction. I see. Thank you for your directions. 
I should be going now. Leaving already? Alright, come back anytime. We could have some chit chat again with hot milk. Alright, see you later. Good luck. Hmm. Seriously, is this bunny not gonna do anything? Darn. Oh, well. Oh, who is this? I didn't think there'd be multiple NPCs in this game. Ah, oh, my head hurts. Oh, hey there. You alright? My head hurts. Aw, oh, you poor thing. Maybe some fresh herbs will help you feel better. Oh. Here, take it and smell it. You should feel a bit better. Thank you. No problem. Of course, call me Sorrel. I tend the garden here. I see. Nice garden. It really is... Nice. Aside from the 2D potted plants. As a thank you for helping me. Well, if you don't mind, could you help me tend my plants here? You got a watering can. Just enough water. The rabbit is judging you. <laughs> nice. Okay, the watering can now has water. Oh, hey, thanks for helping me. By the way, what are you doing in this place? Now that I think about it, we rarely get any guests around here. Have you seen a girl with pink hair passing by? Oh, she went in that direction, if I recall. Mm-hmm. Come here, bunny, don't be scared. A huge cat plushie, so soft. The water is cold. Do I still have the watering can? No. Another forest? It's a red forest. Nothing interesting here. Up, oh, just like my soul. Oh, these are, uh, these look like chickens. Hello, chicken. Chicken dolls. Looks cute. Yes. Excuse me. Seems like he doesn't hear me. Can't you see I'm busy? What is it? Don't bother me if it's not important. It is important. Not for me. Now leave me alone. I need to find my white book. Alright, your white book is in this trash can. Or not. Come on, white book. I wonder where it could be. Maybe I could start with this pile of books over there. No, not here. Not that either. Should I take out these books? What if he gets mad at me? Maybe quietly. You found the white book. You managed to find the white book. Thanks. Here you go. Now, what do you want to ask? I'm looking for my sister. Have you seen a lady with pink hair pass by? If you went in that direction, I'll move the doll. You can go through. Thank you. Uh, bye then. The trees, they're pink. How strange. And yet I feel calmer. Well, maybe they're made of cotton candy. Wow, even he said it. Nice. Sis? Aisley, where have you been? I've been looking for you. Oh my, I must have been wandering around by myself again. Thank you for finding me. On that note, no worries. We can talk about it later. You look very tired, you should go back and rest. Alright. Let's go. I'll walk you back to your room. I won't be going anywhere. I... I'm sorry. 
Good night. Wake up. Huh? You need to wake up. Who are you? Huh? Who's that person talking to me in my sleep? Where's this? The mirror's cracked. Her picture disappeared. I don't have time to play with you. Oh no! It's not breathing. There's something under the dead bunny. Take it. It's a note. Shopping list. Blueberry cheesecake from P. Patsery. She's the only one with a sweet tooth. Flowers, maybe? Hand sparklers. A cute white notebook. You keep the pink note in your pocket. Oh. Okay, then. Hey there, welcome back. Hi. Oh, you want a cup of milk again? The right ear is almost torn apart. Still fluffy. Lavender's favorite bunny. Hmm. Invited some friends. I'm glad they said yes. Can't wait. You keep the pink note in your pocket. Hey there. Thanks for up yesterday. Did I overwater it? Oh. It's staring at me. Two cats. Huh. Interesting. Maybe I shouldn't have watered this one. It's okay, it's not your fault. Don't blame yourself, alright? Purple note. There's an ink patch on the side. These books look interesting. Piece of a red note. What are you doing here? You're wasting my time. You certainly wasted her time. Huh. Oh, it's you again. Can I help you with anything? I'm looking for my two books. I've been searching them, Miles, and I can't find them. Books were borrowed long a time ago by those two. That helped me a lot. Okay. Librarian, you mean Ryu? Sorry, but I don't know anything about any book. Something feels wrong. Sorrel, I said there's no book for me to return. Leave me alone or I will. I'll make you regret. Uh. Okay then. Once upon a time, there lived a young man who loved to grow and care for plants. Every day he'd take his watering can and tend to his nursery until the day ends. One day he came upon a special seed, and how special it was to him indeed. Sad, heartbroken, and forlorn, the young man looked to the sky with scorn. Oh, hope, why'd you lead me astray, if in the end you'd only go away? Hmm... I feel like they're both going to lose their minds. What is it? I'm looking for the librarian. Oh no. I don't remember borrowing any book. Can I try and look for it? Sure, go ahead. Hmm. There's a book behind the portrait. 
Once I had five little bunnies. They were all cute and fluffy. But there was one I loved the most. It was White's fur. I named it Ghost. I think these are haikus or something. They rhyme. I cared for them day and night and brought them to sleep under my sway. Till one day Ghost did not wake. Not a piece of carrot did she take. It broke my heart, but what could I do? Perhaps it's time to bid adieu. Uh... Okay then. B bye Lavender. Guess we can go forward now. Did you get the books? Yes, indeed. These are the books I'm looking for, thank you. They both started acting weird. The books, they love them. That's the only thing you should know. What do you feel when you love... Wait. What do you feel when something you love has been taken away from you? Do you have anything that you love? And that is not here anymore. I don't know. You know. You do know. And that is not here anymore. You have to remember. I think they're trying to wake you up or something. It says go back. Why are there eyeballs? Uh... No, I don't want to read that yet. Flower seems dead. Alright, let's read this. Today's the day I'm so excited. I hope everything will go as planned. Might need to check things once more before we begin with the preparations. My head hurts. You close your eyes for a few moments, open your eyes, run away. You don't belong here. What? I... What happened to this room? Everything's dark, I can't see. Remember to save from the menu. Oh. Where'd the head go? Poor bunny. Yeah, there's blood everywhere. What happened here? Hello? Ryu? Boo. Ryu, are you okay? I need... Forget, I need to forget. My book. I need to forget everything. Huh. Wonder what that means. What do you seek? To torment me further? Everything that happened is yours fault, and yours alone. It should have been you. You'll pay for it someday. All of it. Oh no. Should I read it to him? Twas was a fine dewy morning deep in the forests. The sun's rays softly touched upon the trees, as if gently awakening them to a new day. Birds too awaken and begin chirping a tune, a merry little melody as they fly away from their nests. Forlornly watching as the others flew by, wondering if he'd ever be a part of their group. He did not realize that one had remained, waiting for him to take flight too, a bird with purple feathers perching next to him. And from so on he flew with her, slowly but surely. She brought him closer to the other birds, until he truly became a part of the flock. I should continue reading. But on one dark and gloomy morning, before they took their morning flight, he could not find his purple feathered friend. Because she disappeared. What was that? I better get going. Why were they all murderous looking? Sora? Sora? What happened to you? Where? Where is it? You find it. Find it now, or else. I'll make you regret. Find me the tulip bulb. Oh no. Okay, I'm so dead. My bulb. My precious tulip bulb. It's back. 
But she won't be back. It's because of you. You should have been the one. Not her, she... She's not coming back. I... I'm sorry? It's too late. You have made it all too late. You should end your life. Leave. Leave this place now. I can't move. No, this is not how it's supposed to end. The deep red blood swallows you whole, dragging you into its uninfabitable depths until there's nothing you can see but complete darkness. Sis, I'm sorry. Game over one, drowning in red. Lavender? Ha <laughs> ha oh no, I don't like that smile. Lavender? Hello, welcome back. You know, she's not here. I'm sad and lonely. Who? You know, I know you, I miss her. I know. What? You don't need to leave. You stay, stay here with me. I'll make you stay. I'll catch you and you'll stay. Purple note. You see, I tried to feel sorry for you. I tried, I really did. But it was all because of you. I lost her because of you. Where are you going? Don't go. Don't leave me. Come back. She's coming. I need to run. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, yep. Maybe I should stay here. I shouldn't wake up. I deserve the eternal torment. No. Sis. Aisley? Sis. I looked for you everywhere. Why? You were gone. I thought you left me alone. No, I won't leave you. Don't go again. I won't go. Don't worry. Don't be scared. I'll accompany you here. Here? Yes, here. You look tired. Let's get you to bed. I'll tell you a story. I don't want to sleep. Let's go, Aisley. <laughs> Uh, this isn't creepy at all. So, once upon a time, there was a little boy. A very healthy little boy. The boy is a very curious boy. He loved going on exciting adventures, finding new things and making new friends. I think she's talking about you. The boy learned many new things from his adventure. And so the boy became a hero. Forever remembered for his deeds. The end. It feels like we're being watched. You should go to sleep, Aisley. Stay with me. I will. I will stay with you here. Forever. Good night, Aisley. Okay. Bad end. Dream again. Darn it. That's... Tragic. Alright. By the way, what are you doing in this place? Nothing about it, we rarely get any guests. Because you're, a uh, Bad. Maybe. You're looking for a white book, aren't you? I know where it is. Whoops. Oh. It's just the cutscene triggered by looking at the bookshelves. That's easy. Here's your white book. Ryu. Cotton candy. Hey, sis. Bye, sis. I need to go back to Nightmare Land. Where everything's horrible. Wake up. You need to wake up. Huh? Who's that person talking to me? Where's sis? Pink of a... Or... Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
Two weeks before D-Day. Reminder, book a nice table at Black Forest Cafe ASAP. Our picture disappeared. Alright, time to get all these notes. Welcome back. Pink note. Oh boy. Bye, Lavender. Oh, we need to come to the venue before anyone to prepare for the next day. I hope he won't be late. I should write a note to remind him. A birthday party? Hi there. Oh, there's a note here. Please don't talk to me. I don't want to see your face ever again. Please leave me be. Uh, it's not your fault. Alright, I... No, this is the library. Keep the red note in your pocket. Okay. I think that's all of the notes for, uh, this wave. Uh, hey there, Ryu. Uh, how's it? Hey there, Ryu. How's it poppin'? Oh, it's you again. Hello. I'm looking for my two books. I've been searching for them, but I was and I can't find them. Oh boy. I really don't like this step. Considering they start losing their ever, uh, loving minds. Bye. Hey, Sorrel. I want that book back. It'd be great if you gave me the book. Thanks. Now it's time to go get Lavender's book. Can I, can I have that book, Lavender? I'd appreciate it. Thanks, Lavender. <laughs> Bye. All right, Ryu. You're back, did you get the books? Yeah, here. Indeed. These are the books I'm looking for, thank you. Ryu? Is there something wrong with both Lavender and Sora? I don't understand. Do you have anything you love? What I love? You know, you do know. My head throbs and I can't think clearly. And that is not here anymore. You have to remember. I believe you're ready for the truth. Take this book. You received a white book from Ryu. Okay. Well, that's definitely, uh... Different. I'm not going back. Yes, let's read... The note. Close your eyes for a few moments. And now we're back to the blood hallways. Oh boy. I think your character's just having a nightmare, and that's the understanding. Oh, there's a bunny head. Poor bunny. You got a piece of a white note. It should have been me. Why am I the one who's alive? I should be dead. No. Darn it. I got killed by the blood again. The trees look wilted. They sure do. What happened here, hello? You? Are you okay? I need... Forget. I need to forget. It's a note.
Here's your book, Ryu. What was that? I better get going. I need to find somebody. Just anyone. Hand covered in blood to come out of the bin. Capturing AZ and drowning him inside endless darkness. Sis, help me. Bin over. Really? I just get killed by a trash can. Oh no. I've been killed by a unicorn. Game over five. Where are you going? Oh, it's a note. Oh boy. Thanks for the note. Time to run. Okay, maybe I should just stay here. I shouldn't wake up. I deserve this eternal torment. Huh. Can't grab that book. Oh. I need to wake up my sister first. A mirror. Why do we need to hide? Oh, easy. There you are. I was waiting and I got a little tired. I'm sorry. Then you should rest. Don't worry. You don't mind if I lay down for a moment, do you? For a moment, but we need to go soon. I think I'll need to stay to rest for a while. But I don't want to leave you. Don't be scared. I won't go anywhere. I'll always be with you. Really? Really. Promise. Promise. Smile for me. Hey, don't worry. I should be the one thanking you. So chin up. Thank you, Aisley, for pre for letting me do my responsibility to protect you all this time. I'm feeling a little sleepy, I'm sorry. Can you tell me a bedtime story? A bedtime story? Oh, so we were collecting a story. I, I think your sister's dead. I, I think she's dead. Yeah, what kind of story is that? I'm so curious, can you read it for me? There's a story inside the white book, it wasn't there before. Alright, I'll read you the story. Yay! It's called The Adventure of the Brave Unicorn. I think we're unicorns. Sounds like a beautiful story. Once upon a time, there was a little girl. She was lonely who wished for friends. Then one day she made some new friends. She was so happy she thanked the heavens for it. After that, they went on adventures and met more friends. Apparently the heavens had more surprises for her. She was given a little brother in which she treasured and raised. He is her proud and joy. She, once again, thanked the heavens for giving her so much happiness. She took her brother everywhere. She made sure that he was happy and healthy. She's a big girl now. Unfortunately, something bad happened and she needed to protect her loved one. In the event, she was badly hurt and will not be able to go any more adventures. She lost her life. But despite the sad outcome, she's not sad at all for what she's done. She protected her little brother. She wishes her loved one to stay happy and always cherish one another. The end. Sis? Good night, sis. Sweet dreams. I need to hide. It's quiet. But my hand throbs. I'll close my eyes. He should be recovering soon. Oh, maybe we're in a hospital. Thank you, doctor. He's like, Ren, I'm, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. She, where is she? She's dead. No, it's not true. Okay, yeah, you were in a dream. That makes sense since it's called Whispering Dream. I, I did not manage to put two and two together. It's all, it's all my fault. It's, it should have been me. That's enough, Aisley. Don't take her. Don't take her away from me. Aisley, that's enough. I don't want you to lose anyone important to me anymore. It's not your fault. It was never your fault. Re- Oh, that's Ryu. We b Hold up. Maybe your sister was dating the Ryu guy. Which is why he gave you the book. In the dream. Especially you. 
And I don't want to lose anyone anymore. You were both important to me. Okay, I think that was the true ending. If there's a bonus room, it'll continue after the credits are over. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. As always, goodbye. Thank you.